What's going on? Today I will teach you a few ways to create some titles for your videos. If you like this type of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below so I can make more of these videos for you. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. So here's an example of the first title effect that I want to show you guys. I call this one the Stencil Luma title effect. This is probably one of the easiest ones to do in Final Cut Pro. First, let's find an awesome clip to use to illuminate your text with. You can honestly use any type of clip for this part. As long as there's movement in it, it should work fine. Next, you'll need to create a basic title. You can try playing around with different font styles, but to be safe, look for a thick and bold style, just to make sure that it shows the effect well. I will choose this one called Headline. Play around with the size and tracking of your text as well, until you are happy with how it looks. In the last step, click on the video inspector and change the blend mode to Stencil Luma. And that's it. You can also add in a cool effect like a zoom in to transition the clip behind it. Find a spot where you want it to transition out. Click on the keyframe beside scale. Then move over an amount of frames you want the transition to last. I will do it about 10 frames out. Now type a large number like 3000 and scale all to see if the text is fully out of the frame. If it is not out of the frame, keep increasing it until it is fully gone. And now you have a stencil luma title that zooms in and reveals your clip. Next, we have the masking text effect. I like to use this one with still clips, such as a time lapse or maybe just footage on a tripod. Here's one I shot in our Airbnb in Hawaii. Create a new basic text and place it somewhere on the clip. Now disable this clip while we do the next step. Drag the draw mask tool to the title bar and mask around only to the parts where the text touches the building. Click on invert mask afterwards. I will do this again for the other two buildings as well. I will drag a new draw mask effect to each one. Once you are done, enable your clip again to see your creation. I would tweak little things like the text opacity and color until you get a look that you like. And the last title effect I want to show you guys is the glitch in text effect. For this one you'll need some kind of glitch transition to make it work. I'm using one that I got from Ryan Nangle. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to use that one as well. With this one I'll use my Instagram tag and glitch it in. Like how I usually do it in the beginning of my videos. I created my text in Photoshop with an Instagram logo beside it and then saved it as a PNG file. After I drag that file in, I will add in my glitch transition effect. Once I've changed the length of the transition, I will highlight the whole clip, right click and then select new compound clip. Once that is done, I usually like to add in a glitch sound just to add to the whole effect. I also like to match the glitch sound to parts only where it is glitching on screen. This way it doesn't look like you just threw it in and sounds totally off. There are many other title effects you can create with just the tools that Final Cut Pro gives you like adding in the earthquake effect adds a little cool shaking look to your text or even the focus effect makes your text look out of focus combine two effects put them together and see how it looks get creative guys see what you can make don't forget to like and subscribe down below peace